Hi, today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to parse JSON data and just open up your Xcode, create a new project, and choose a single view application and click next. But let me give you a little bit of background why we want to parse JSON data. It's because sometimes, like for example, like Google News, there's a lot of um there's a lot of constantly changing information, the news constantly changing. And so for our product name, I'm gonna call this J JSON tutorial. And for this, we are um so uh, we're gonna use a storyboard and we're gonna use automatic re reference counting and we're gonna use iPhone yeah so you wanna do this for if if you wanna put in put something in your app that has like constantly changing data from the internet like the example I'm gonna show you is gonna be from the I iTunes store it's gonna be like the top 10 albums they're always changing but um, I will show you how to put that in your app so that you can always see the top 10 albums all right so in your main storyboard i'm going to have a i'm going to have a table view to show you the top 10 albums at the at the time so just add a table view in here and i'm going to add a and i'm going to add a, a button in there to load our data all right, a round rect button and a table view is all that we need. All right, and my button, I'm just gonna call it uh, get data. Actually, I'm gonna call it get top ten albums, and this will be according to the iTunes store. All right, and. In our view controller, actually make your connections first. Open up our assistant editor and then control click drag it onto here. My table view is gonna be an outlet, type is UI table view, storage is weak, and our button is gonna be an action. Control click drag connection type action name get top 10 button type will be ID event touch up inside argument sender so that's that's that for our storyboard and now um, let me get rid of the utilities area hi the assistant editor and in our header file, we need a uh, we need the UI table view delegate and data source. UI table view data source UI oops, UI table view delegate, and we also need a uh, NSURL connection de uh, connection delegate for this one. All right, and in our view controller. Um, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a few um, instance variables. I'm gonna have an NS mutable data. NS mutable data. I'm just gonna call it web data. And we're also gonna have a NS URL connection. I'm gonna call this connection. And I'm also gonna have a NS mutable array. This will be, I'm just going to call this array. All right. So this will be an array of titles of the, of the top 10 songs. All right. And in our view did load, I'm going to set the delegate self, my table view, oops, set delegate self, self, my table view set data source self and um, we're also gonna say we're also gonna in alloc init the array so array equals ns mutable array alloc init there that's all we need for our view did load alright and now in um 
Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna type this method. Connection did receive response. Did receive response. Let me see where did it go. Void connection. NS URL connection delicate NS URL connection data delicate connection did yeah sorry about that in our view controller dot h instead of NS URL connection delicate it's actually NS URL connection data delicate all right and here we can do connection did receive response connection did receive response and when it receives the response we're gonna set our, our length of our web data S web data set length to be zero so colon and from there we're gonna have a we're gonna have a did receive did receive data connection did receive data there it is did receive data and from there we're gonna append the data that we received to our web data web data append data data All right. so this data is the same is this data right here that's being appended to our web data and we're also gonna have connection did fail with error and in this, I don't plan on going into this method. I'm just going to have an nslog right here saying fail with error. Alright. And, and we're going to also have connection did finish loading. Connection did finish loading method. And from there, this is, this is, um, this is the main part of what we need to do in our did finish loading method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an NS dictionary. Well, first of all, let's let's look at the data that we want first. So here's our Google. Um, here I've already set up a search for top iTunes top ten albums. So that's the iTunes top ten album, and I'm gonna do the U.S. version. So that's our top ten, and here you can you can Google search for iTunes RSS generator. To search for it, you get the iTunes RSS generator, and once you click it, you can create your RSS RSS um, link. So country will be United States, type will be music, feed type is top album, size is gonna be top ten, and all genres, and then generate. And now it gives us a, a link, a RSS feed URL. I'm going to change from XML to JSON. And I'm going to copy this link. And I think one of the better ways to do it, one of the ways to view uh, data is with the JSON viewer. So I can search for that online, JSON viewer. And the top one that pops up, I'm going to click on it, jsonviewer.stack.hu. We do this so can we we can better visualize our data. So click on load JSON data and paste paste um, whatever you copied in your iTunes generator onto here. So Control V load JSON data. So here's our JSON data. Pretty hard to read, mumbo jumbo. But go to view go to viewer, and then it's a lot cleaner. You have your JSON, your feed your title and your label so that's that's what we're gonna want but instead of just title we'll, we'll go to JSON and then the feed and then the entry and then here are the top tens and inside there's a couple more things there's a title and there's a label alright so uh, we want to display this label for each of the top ten that's um, number zero I guess that's number one 
Then number two is Babel, Babel. And again, that's number three, title, push and shove, and so on, until all the way up until number nine. So let's go back to our Xcode and see what we had to do here. So in our connection did finish loading, we're always going to have this uh, NS dictionary. I'm going to call it all data dictionary equals NS JSON serialization, JSON object with data. JSON object with data. The data will be web data. And the options will be zero, error is no. All right. And then after that, we are going to have a NS dictionary feed. All right. The reason we're doing this is because here, so we have our JSON data already. And then the next level down is feed. So that's our um, another another um, NS dictionary called feed. Okay, let me um, pull back all the ones and zero, all this here. Pull back my entry. Okay. So that's the main level JSON. So that's what that's what we have right here in our all data dictionary. And the next level down is feed. So that's what we need feed equals all data dictionary object for key and our key will be feed because that is the name that is here and then the next level down we want entry and entry is not going to be a dictionary you can tell by these little brackets the brackets are I mean the squiggly brackets are dictionaries and the brackets are arrays so once you click on it you have the array of um, the top 10 0 to 10 here so for now we're gonna do NS array and then NS array I'm gonna call it array uh, array of entry because it's entry so we're gonna do array of entry equals feed object for objects uh, object for key and my key will be um, entry all right key is entry because this right here says entry and now we're gonna have to go through each of these objects from 0 to 9 so we can s and then when we go through that we want the the title part of it. So after we get the array of entry, we can have a four. We're going to use a fast enumeration, four in. So for NS dictionary, I'm going to call it diction, diction in collection array of entry, not array, oops, array of entry so for those uh, in the array of entry I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna want the title because in each of the array I'm interested in this right here the title so I'm gonna get a NS NS dictionary again I'm gonna get NS dictionary because the title here see it's in like the little squirrely brackets and not in the brackets that indicates a, an array so it's a if it's in a squirrely brackets it's a dictionary but here if it's an image like you click on it it's an array so here the title is going to be a dictionary and this dictionary um, and this dictionary title equals um, Diction object for key the object will be I mean the key will be title here so we're going through the the diction in the dictionary and we're grabbing the title on each of those and at the very end I think this is the last layer that we need so from title this is the ultimate layer there's no more little squiggly brackets or brackets that's the ultimate level that we need so it's called label so I'm gonna have an NS string 
and a string and we're gonna call this label and a string label equals whoops title object for key and the key is label yeah. so the label is what we need and the label is the thing that we're gonna add to our array that we have because remember we have this array right here and we're gonna use this to populate our table view. so I'm gonna say array add object and the object that we're gonna add is going to be our our inner string and at the very end uh, we can reload data self my table view reload data All right, we need this later, but not right now. All right. So when we click on the go to or go to top ten button, we need this. All right. And this URL, I'm gonna call it URL. It's gonna be NSURL. NSURL. URL with string, and the string of the URL is our is um, whatever this is right here so that's to get our top 10 limit equals 10 but otherwise you're going to change this limit number and you can get like top 25 top 50 something like that all right so we're going to paste that here that's our string that's our url string to get the json data and we're going to also have an ns ns url request ns url request I'm gonna call this request equals nsurl request request with URL and our URL is the URL that we've just created here and regardless of we're gonna we have this nsurl connection called connection and we're gonna do connection equals nsurl NS, NS URL connection connection with request and the request is the one we've just created and delegate itself if connection then web data equals NS mutable data mutable data alloc init all right and then that's that for our connection part of it all we need to do now is do the table view part and the meth the delegate methods for the table views are there's three main ones number of sections in table view so just return one and we also have a um, what's another number of rows number Oops. Table view. Number of rows. Let me see. Where's number of rows? There we go. Uh, there we go. Number of rows and sections. And for this, we're gonna return the array, the count of array. So now in this array we have um we have 10 cuz we're doing top 10 we can change this limit later on but now it's 10 and our last method that we need is self row at index path so let's look for that self row at index path now we're going to do our normal static and a string cell identifier equals cell and we're going to have a UI table view cell cell equals table view the EQ reusable cell identifier cell identifier and we get a little more space here all right and if not cell cell equals UI table view cell alloc 
init with style, UI table view style default, reusable identifier, cell identifier. And from there, we're just gonna set our set our cell data. So cell dot text label dot text equals our our array object at index index path dot row. And at the end we have to return cell. Alright, so I think this is all that we need in order to grab the top 10. So let's look at the top top 10 first. Alright, so our iTunes top 10. We refresh it. Alright, so it's Babel, Babel, Push and Shove, Endless Summer, Sight No More, Awaken, all the way until some nights. And now let's run our simulator and hope that those same titles pop up in our in our iPhone simulator. All right. Okay. All right. Here's our simulator. It's coming there. Now we do get top 10 albums. And there's our. Let me drag it over to my other screen just to compare. There. Alright. Number one Babel, Babel, Push and Shove, Sight No More. Oh, something must have changed here. Let me see. Push and Shove, Sight No More. Oh, okay. The data is kind of inconsistent. Let me refresh this one. Either refresh that one or refresh mine. Alright. In the summer. Well, the top 10. Well, let me relaunch it. Maybe that'll help. Actually, when we. Um, that will site no more. Well, the endless summer and the site no more is kind of off. And I noticed one more thing when we click the button, it generates like ten more. So we should get <laughs> we should we shouldn't do that. We should get rid of that by when when a button is pressed. When a button is pressed, we should clear our data first. So array remove all objects all right and remove all objects okay there now our, our array won't keep on adding stuff onto it without removing anything all right so babel push no site no more endless summer oh just these two are getting switched up something's not getting loaded right but <laughs> all right so now we can keep on pressing the button and it's still 10 things there. Alright, let me go back and see one more time. I want to get it to match. Well, uh, it's not matching, but that's how you load the top 10 onto there. Uh, hopefully, you've learned something new from this tutorial. And... I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.